Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at Euler's theorem and the solution to the Königsberg bridge problem. We've already discussed that an Euler circuit in a graph is a circuit that uses every edge of the graph exactly once. Let's take a look at this graph, A, B, C, D, E, F. If we travel from A to B, and then to C, and then to D, and then to E, and then to F, turn and go to D, turn again and go to B, turn again and go to F, and then and go to A. We've hit every edge of this graph exactly once, beginning and ending at the same point. So this is an Euler circuit. In the last video, we talked about the Königsberg bridge problem, where there were seven bridges joining various parts of the city. And the question was asked, is it possible for a citizen of Königsberg to take a stroll through the city, crossing each bridge exactly once and beginning and ending at the same place? Thinking of the city as a graph, where vertices represent land masses and edges represent bridges, we're really asking the question, does this graph have an Euler circuit? Can we begin and end at the same vertex, crossing each edge exactly once? Well, Leonard Euler published a paper in 1736 that explained why it's actually impossible, and he provided a simple way for deciding whether any given graph has an Euler circuit. To understand what Euler said, we first need to remember the definition of a connected graph. A graph is connected if one can move from each vertex of the graph to every other vertex of the graph along the edges of the graph. If not, the graph is disconnected, and the connected pieces of the graph are called components. In the graph on the top, we can travel from any vertex to any other vertex that we want to along various edges of the graph. We might have to take a funny looking journey, but we can always get there. Whereas in the graph on the bottom, the component ACE is completely separate from the component BDF. There is no way to get from say point A to point D without going off the path. So what Euler said was, suppose we have a connected graph. So it's all just one big component and you can travel from any one point on the graph to any other point. If the graph has an Euler circuit, meaning there's a way to start and end at the same vertex and cover each edge exactly once, then each vertex of the graph has even degree. And if each vertex of the graph has even degree, then that actually guarantees that the graph does have an Euler circuit. The implication goes goes both ways. So looking at the Königsberg bridge problem as a graph, we check the degree of each vertex. Vertex A has one, two, three, four, five edges that meet at vertex A, so we're going to have a degree of five there. Vertex B, there are three edges, so this has degree three. Vertex C has one, two, three edges that meet there, so that has degree three. And vertex D, there are three edges that meet there as well. So in fact, in Konigsberg, every vertex has odd degree. Even one vertex of odd degree means no Euler circuit. The mystery was solved. It's not possible to cross over each bridge exactly once and start and end at the same place. Now let's use Euler's theorem to determine if this particular graph has an Euler circuit. Remember, when you're asked to do that, you're really just being asked to analyze the degrees of the vertices. Let's take a look. Do we have even degrees? Well, H does because there are two edges that meet at H. And let's see, for A, 1, 2, 3, 4, A does. B, 1, 2, 3, 4 also has even degree. C, 1, 2, 3, 4 also even degree. D, 1, 2, 3, 4 also even degree. E is degree 4 as well. F is degree 2, which is even. And G is degree 2, which is even. So we would have to say yes, because the graph is number one, connected, and two, each vertex has even degree. Let's use Euler's theorem to decide whether the graph here has an Euler circuit. You don't actually have to find an Euler circuit, you just have to determine if the vertices have even degree. So degree of vertex A is 2, the degree of vertex B is 2, the degree of vertex C however is 3. You can actually stop right there because if there's even one vertex of odd degree then you know that there's no Euler circuit. 
How about this graph? Vertex A has degree 1, 2, 3, 4. Vertex B, degree 2. Vertex C, degree 2. Vertex D, degree 2. Vertex E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's even as well. Vertex F, degree 2. And vertex G, degree 2. All of the vertices have even degrees, so this one must have an Euler circuit. In our next video, we'll talk about Fleury's algorithm, which gives us a procedure for finding Euler circuits. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.